math error. Why does it do that? It's the most annoying thing in the world. Well, today I'm going to show you why it does it. And I'm also going to show you how to use a quadratic formula to make sure that you get the right answers every time and that you don't end up getting that math error. I'm also going to show you three mistakes that people often make when they're using the quadratic formula. And I'm going to show you how to avoid making those mistakes. The quadratic formula is one of those things that you need to memorize for your maths GCSE exam. And it's a formula that lets you solve any quadratic equation. And it looks like this. X is equal to negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. Let's use an example so that I can show you how to use the formula and I'll show you those places where people often get tripped up. Here's our equation then. X squared minus 8X at 11 equals 0. So the A, B and C in the formula refer to the numbers in our equation. So the first thing I do is write down what A, B and C are. A is the number of X squared that we have. In this case, we've just you know, we've just got one. So A equals positive one. And, you know, remember that when X or X squared don't have a coefficient, you know, don't have a number in front of them, that, that means there's just one of them. B refers to the number of X's. And you need to watch out here because it's negative eight. You must include the negative. Finally, C is a number on the end, positive 11 in this case. So let's now put those numbers into our formula x equals negative b right this is mistake number one that people sometimes make they don't realize that the negative of a negative is a positive in our case b is negative 8 so we want negative negative 8 which is positive 8 so that's the first thing if your b is negative then negative b is positive you'll end up with a positive number in the first part of your formula so x equals 8 plus or minus and if you're not sure why we have a plus and a minus there I'm gonna come back to that in a bit so plus or minus the square root of b squared so negative 8 squared minus 4 a c that means 4 times a times c which in our case is 4 times 1 times 11 and then all of that over two times a, which in our case is two times one, so just two. So we end up with eight plus or minus the square root of negative eight squared minus four times one times 11, all over two or all divided by two. Now you can type all of that into your calculator like this, but you get the math error. Why is that? Well, it brings us to mistake number two, trusting your calculator too much when squaring negatives. And it's all to do with your how your calculator handles negative numbers. Now, if you tried this on your calculator, negative three squared, it's saying it's negative nine, but we know that the answer should be positive nine. So your calculator's wrong. To do it correctly then, you have to put that negative three into brackets. Now you can see your calculator is doing it as we would expect it to. So if we go back to our equation and put brackets around that negative eight, it should solve that problem. So mistake number two, not using brackets with that negative number. Incidentally, as with everything, for this to really stick, and I talked about this in the video I did last week on how to revise, you need to get stuck in and do some practice, have a go at some questions. So for this and all the other videos I've done recently, there's a set of practice questions on my website, mathskitchen.com, and it's in the tips section. There's a link below as well. So that's an explanation of the mistake that, you know, that people sometimes make, but it doesn't explain why it's giving you the math error in particular. And that's all to do with negatives as well. When you square a number, even a negative number, you will always end up with a positive answer because a negative times a negative will give you a positive number. So, you know, the negative three squared is nine, positive nine, right? What that means is that there is no square root of a negative number. There is no number you can find that will multiply by itself and give you a negative result. So if you ask your calculator to find the square root of a negative number, you get math error. Your calculator is saying, I can't find the answer because it can't be done. 
at, that's not quite true actually using real numbers it can't be done but mathematicians actually talk about imaginary numbers to describe exactly this the square roots of negative numbers but that's for another video and actually you don't need to know it at all at GCSE it's nice to know that it you know it's there but um, so that was mistake number two and it happens quite a lot your calculator is telling you there's a math error uh, it's clearly an american calculator isn't it we would say maths error uh, and we now know that that is probably because it's trying to find the square root of a negative number the third mistake i've kind of covered a bit already and that is trying to do the whole thing on your calculator in one go of course you can do that your calculator can definitely do it and some people would say it's the best way to do it and if you found that you can do that consistently and you don't make mistakes, then for you, that's definitely a good way to go. But I found it, it's just really easy to make mistakes that way. So this is how I prefer to do it. I evaluate each part separately and then I bring them all together at the end. Um, and you can check part way through that you haven't made a mistake because we now know that what goes under that square root sign should not be negative, at least not in GCSE maths anyway. So the first part, the negative B, we know that's eight. The second part, the square root stuff, I'm gonna work that out. And often I actually find it easier to do this in my head. Um, in this example, I know that negative eight squared is 64. And I know that four times one times 11 is 44. So I have 64, take away 44, and that's 20. Um, and that's positive, which is a good sign. If it's negative, then go back and check what you've done again. Um, we've already done the last bit, that's just 2a, uh, 2 times 1 isn't it, so that's just 2. Um, if I put that all together then I've got uh, 8 plus or minus the square root of 20 all divided by 2. And that's a lot easier to type into your calculator. And I think less likely to lead to mistakes. Now if the numbers are awkward or you just don't want to do it in your head then of course do it on your calculator but I would still recommend doing it in stages and don't forget the big thing to remember is that if you've got a negative number there that you're squaring you've got to put that negative number in brackets. Now I would put all of that together on the calculator and this is where the plus and the minus comes in. There's a positive and negative square root of every number. For example the square root of 9 is 3 but negative three is also the square root of nine because, you know, as we looked at earlier, negative three times negative three you know, gives you nine. So all we do is we run through it using the positive square root first of all, which in this case gives us four plus root five, um, which is 6.236, uh, da, 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 da. I ran that off to two decimal places to give 6.24. And then we just redo it using the negative square root and on lots of calculators you don't even need to type it all in again you can just go back uh, and change that plus to a minus which gives us 4 minus root 5 which is 1.763 da, 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 and so on I'm just going to round it off again to 1.76 okay I'm going to do one more example quickly to show you one more thing which can go wrong and how tip number three helps to avoid it so new equation for this one we're going to look at x squared plus 3x minus 7 is equal to 0. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, and c is equal to minus 7. b is positive this time, so negative b is negative, it's negative 3. 2a is 2 times 1, which is 2, and then we've got the square root of 3 squared minus 4 times 1 times minus 7. Let's do that quickly on the calculator. we've gone wrong somewhere and you might have spotted my deliberate mistake um, I missed that negative from the 7 so if we try again including that negative um, we get 37 that sounds better doesn't it so let's put that all together negative 3 plus root 37 all over 2 if we round that off we get 1.54 uh, we repeat that for the negative round it off again and we have negative 4.54 so the three mistakes and things to watch out for. That first negative B, a negative negative is a positive. Secondly, you must use brackets when you square that negative number uh, on your calculator. And the last thing is to break it all down into stages and check that what you're trying to take the square root of isn't negative. That is it. 
as I said, it's really important to practice this stuff. So head over to mathskitchen.com uh, to the tips page and you'll see a link to the quadratic formula questions you know, that we looked at today. Um, that is all. Thank you very much indeed for watching. Keep revising, keep practicing, and I will see you next week.